Welcome to Three Count Commentaries. Um, it's been a while since we sat down and had like a single subject that we want to discuss. Uh, Fire Ronda Rousey has been trending on Twitter and I don't know where it came from. And I don't know really what triggered it. The only thing I can tell you is that there are some very angry nerds online who have decided that today's meat on the menu, today's soup of the day, is the blood of Ronda Rousey. They decided to go crazy and attack Ronda Rousey. For, apparently because she didn't want to take a apron DDT from Shotzi. Um, and it's not, it didn't look like Shotzi was doing a great job of it anyway. But people are very upset. Now, from the best that I can put together... There have been quite a few people since Survivor Series that have been pretty upset with Ronda Rousey. They didn't like the match with Shotzi, and they decided they was going to blame Ronda for this. An odd decision, considering Shotzi has more experience than Ronda does. That's legit, by the way. She has more pro wrestling experience than Ronda Rousey does. To me, I think it's just a bad match. But Shotzi hasn't had a good match since she's been on this roster. Ronda, on the other hand, seems to perform at the level of her opponent. If her opponent is actually pretty good, then her performances typically come out pretty good. If her opponents suck, then maybe her matches are going to suck. I think the big problem with Ronda has been her persona, her personality, or their lack thereof. And everybody has attacked Ronda in ring work. I think her in ring work is fine. You know, she is a fine in ring worker. She uses some weird submission holes that. You know, pro wrestling fans aren't used to. They don't really know what they are, or how they're supposed to hurt. And she just kind of breaks them out willy nilly. And, you know, like she, when she did the thing with Liv Morgan, when it was like the, the butt on the head or whatever, it took some MMA fighters to sort of educate wrestling fans on what that move was. And then she used another move at Survivor Series where it, it looked like a botch, but it was a legitimate submission hold. Most people, again, didn't know that, <laughs> you know, so I'm not capable for Ronda Rousey. You can go through my archives, man. I've, I've gone after Ronda Rousey quite a bit on this channel. I know that she's not that good, especially on the microphone. But to say you fire Ronda Rousey, who is legitimately one of the biggest stars in the company, uh, you're going to have to do a little bit better than she had a bad match with Shotzi. But let's get into the peanut gallery. Let's start. Not on Twitter. Let's, let's start somewhere where Ronda Rousey gets also a lot of hate. Sure Dog Forums. If you don't know what Sure Dog is, it's the MMA forums. <laughs> Which are, you know, home to all of the biggest fans of Ronda Rousey. You know? Uh, <laughs> so, we're about to have some fun. Ronda Rousey about to get absolutely roasted again. Because, I mean, why not? So, the first comment says, what's crazy is that Ronda Rousey sucks. She shits on wrestling, yet there's still a bunch of wrestling fans who want her. How much self-respect can a person lack? She also shit on UFC fans, too, but that was in the past, though, right? Um, uh, here's another one. Why are people so devoted to watching her fail? She isn't a bad person. She's opened doors for women in two industries. Don't get the hate. You know what? I I can't disagree with this. Now, if there's one thing, we could talk about whether Ronda's a good fighter or where Ronda's a good wrestler. But the bottom line is Ronda's success in the UFC is what led to WWE pushing the women in their company. It's literally a one-to-one. -one. You don't get one without the other one. You don't get the women's evolution if it was no Ronda Rousey. And of course, her being a wrestling fan made this, you know, an even easier move for some for them to make. So I, I actually agree with that. Here's another one. Not surprising. She's still bad at it. She's still basically a novice at wrestling as far as a match count and training goes. She's barely had 100 matches to her name over four years. That is true. That is absolutely true. And here's a video of Ronda Rousey getting kicked in the head. Why I'm assuming that's Holly Holm. Oh boy. And these people are pretty ridiculous. Somebody says, expect a, a reappearance of the purple pillow soon. 
where uh, this is when Rhonda lost and he started covering her face. <laughs> okay, so it was a response to the um, her lack of experience. Somebody says part of it is that she came in and got handed the golden ticket while shitting on the people that have been doing it for years. She definitely went in with no intention of making friends. Well, no, this is the wrestling business. This ain't the friend making business. Um, I don't know why people think that this is the friend making business. It's not. Um, I, Jesus Christ. Why do people think that? Um, <laughs> here, this is a response to JD from NY. Again, this is the shirt off forums and one of his videos was posted in here. His video talking about, you know, Rhonda doesn't just need to lose the belt. She needs to get out of WWE. I don't know if he started it, but, um, his commentary about Ronda Rousey, um, it's, it's kind of been one of the things that has spurred this on but um somebody says gotta love that middle-aged dude ranting about fake wrestling on tiktok though some people do take their entertainment seriously yeah yeah just like you know these guys um take their mma seriously people take shit that they like seriously this is hilarious some dude says her feet and ankles are sexy (laughs) i promise you i wouldn't know dog um (laughs) <laughs> it says <clears throat> Rhonda was given the peak of preferred treatment I mean I get it she was a draw but does not make it any less obvious she's a fish out of water there for sure if she isn't working a squash match in her favor you'll see the inexperience yes um, that is true and she is very inexperienced but she also works house shows so she actually tries to work on her inexperience and <clears throat> The fact that a lot of people didn't like the match with Shotzi, again, there's no reason to. The match sucked. But women's matches are notoriously botchy, especially the women that even the women that you like. Their matches are incredibly botchy and things don't look very good. EO didn't have a good night at Survivor Series either. She botched quite a few spots in her um, War Games match. You know, it happens. You know, you know, and she didn't get rained for it because she's on the right side of you know, uh, history. Ronda Rousey is not. So Ronda gets, you know, shit on and kicked all over, but whatever. Here's a response to the previous, uh, another previous comment when somebody says she's not a bad person. The person says she domestically abused an ex-boyfriend, got Travis Brown while he was still married and being accused of domestic abuse himself. She stole money from her dead father's social security and has bullied countless women in MMA who did nothing wrong. Somebody said, uh, that, of course, that same comment said she opened doors for women in two industries. And um, the response was Gina Carano opened the doors for WMMA, and China Trish Stratus and Lita opened the doors for women in WWE. Now, here's the thing about that later point. Now, Gina Carano, maybe. Maybe you can make that, and Chris Cyborg, you can make those. Those sort of um, comparisons, but neither one of them reached the heights of Ronda Rousey, which is the reason why people are saying Ronda Rousey opened the doors. They're not saying she's the first one to ever do it. We're saying is she came in and was the most popular in doing it to the point where people were being quite ridiculous and saying she can beat Floyd Mayweather in a boxing fight. And it was ridiculous. It was quite, it was nonsensical. You know, (laughs) it's really just, it was foolish. So, um, and then when it comes to like Trish Stratus, Chinese and Lita, I mean, there's a big chunk of time that was missing between, you know, when China was there and then when, you know, women were main event in WrestleMania, that's a huge chunk of time missing. Same thing with Lita and Trish Stratus. Like there's a big, like that's over 10 years <laughs> that was missing from this timeline. So, um, that's an interesting thing. Um, somebody says I would be embarrassed to use TikTok and even more embarrassed to use it for complaining about something like UFC matchmaking imagine using it to complain about the quote Smackdown women's division and then there's a (laughs) I I forget (laughs) these old forums are a motherfucker though I remember when I used to have be on these forums um and you know when back when all hip hop was a thing and um you know, these forums were fun. I missed the forums. Um, okay, so here's another one. I remember not wanting Rousey as champion, so I sympathize with WWE fans at this difficult and trying time. 
<laughs> oh God. Oh shit. Somebody says when I watch the quality of matches between WWE and AEW, AEW blows the shit out of WWE. Oh, oh Lord. Okay. Um, if their girls are actually over, then maybe they would, but half the time they're not even over, so nobody cares about what they do anyway. All right. Um, here's another response to the Ronda Rousey isn't a bad person quote. She doesn't come across like a good person. Her behavior in The Ultimate Fighter, how she acted towards opponents, the way she handled her loss, disrespecting the WWE, a company that gave her an opportunity after failing in MMA. Uh, I she didn't fail. She didn't fail. She succeeded. She, in some ways, over-succeeded. But she has a fragile ego, like, you know, fighters tend to do. And, you know, shit went to her head, just kind of like fighters tend to do. You know, um, so many fighters. Ronda Rousey isn't, like, the first one or the only one. Conor McGregor is going through that. John Jones is going through it. Mike Tyson went through it. Muhammad Ali went through it. I mean, we can just go on and on and on about fighters who got into their own brain and started believing their own hype. And then they get put on their ass once, twice, and then all of a sudden they're like, oh, you know, but some of them go so far that they can, they can't put, they can't really pull back. You can't really go the, he's just trying to sell tickets. You know, you can always play that card with some of those guys. You know, you can say, well, he's just trying to sell some tickets, you know, Floyd Mayweather. We don't know if he's really, you know, that guy or not. How much of that is just Floyd trying to sell tickets versus uh, Floyd? really believe in the shit that he says same thing with Muhammad Ali and you know Mike Tyson and a lot of that stuff a lot of it was just a, a ploy to sell more tickets so you know I think that what we've seen of Ronda Rousey a lot of it was the UFC's creation of Ronda Rousey her image and um that's where she was out there you know um trying to be playboy model and uh, the best boxer of all time they was trying to Create a movie star and all this kind of shit. Dana White was on his Vince McMahon stuff with Ronda Rousey. <laughs> he tried very hard. Um, but I think that it, her MMA career clearly was not going to get much better than it was when she started losing. She kind of saw the... It, and it happens again to all the, the, the fighters of the time. They have a nice little run. Then they start collecting losses. But Ronda was smart to get out before she started having too many losses. You know, she I think she lost twice or maybe three times before she dipped. That was smart, you know, as opposed to, you know, ended up like Evander Holyfield where, you know, <laughs> you just or, or Bob Sapp, you know, <laughs> like, you know, where you just you're an embarrassment to the business at that point. All right. So uh, Sure Dog doesn't like Ronda Rousey. I mean, that's pretty clear. I mean, we already knew that. Right. Now, wait a minute. I'm almost 15 minutes into this video and I'm seeing a supposedly deleted tweet from Ronda Rousey that says, keep chanting her name all you want in my matches. It won't change the fact that I'm still here while she ran away. I'm guessing she's talking about Sasha Banks. Now, I don't know if Ronda Rousey's the tweet, tweet, delete type. And I've seen some people say that uh, the tweet was fake. So I don't know whether it's, this is what set everything off or not. But it feels like it because um, this tweet is dated from the 27th. And I think that's when it wasn't, it didn't start the fire Ronda Rousey thing, but I'm pretty sure this didn't help. So um, maybe this is a fake tweet and it people started, you know, reacting to the fake tweet. Now that the fake tweet is gone, they're just kind of, you know, but the fire has already been lit. So now it's just, we're out there. All right, so let's go back to the to our normally uh, scheduled uh, ruckus. Your boy, Big Nasty. Fire Ronda Rousey trending because she couldn't take a DDT on an apron has to be in Chapter 1 of the Incel Playbook. I don't know if it's Chapter 1, but it might be within the first five chapters. If there's any... Look, for starters, <clears throat> asking Ronda Rousey to take a DDT on, a, on an apron, probably not a good idea. Probably not a good idea to do DDTs on an apron anyway. Again, a lot of these women, like Shotzi and like Liv Morgan, they want to do crazy, wild shit, but they're not super athletic. You know, even Shotzi's 
form when it comes to the top rope DDT wasn't the best. It wasn't like it was going to be clean and it was going to land flush and nobody was going to get hurt. We don't know what the fuck would have happened. Ronda was smart to try to protect herself. And they probably should have just abandon that spot altogether. Uh, let's see. Ronda Rousey is the fire. Ronda Rousey is the most AEW sexual thing I've seen in this app today. Well, keep watching. <laughs> it's going to be, it's going to be more reasons. Um, uh, somebody said that these are Liv Morgan fans who are, uh, ginning up the fire Ronda Rousey thing, but I don't think it's Liv Morgan fans considering if I remember correctly, the story, um, Ronda actually pushed for Liv to be the SmackDown Women's Champion. So I don't believe it was Liv, the Liv fans. I think it's the Sasha fans. That's, you know, if I had to put my money on it, putting my money on them crazy ass Sasha Banks fans. Especially since Sasha is not back yet. Uh, somebody says, this is a dumb hashtag. If this happened two years later, wrestling Twitter is going to claim that they missed her. Very hoe-like behavior. Ooh. That's tough. You call somebody a hoe. You call them a hoe. Hoe like behavior. Um. So <laughs> people are posting dresses, talking about this is what I'm wearing to the fire Ronda Rousey party. These people are nuts. Um. <laughs> these people are. These people are nuts. Because Sasha Banks worked for everything she had and respects her coworkers. Rhonda, on the other hand, got everything handed to her and disrespects the business. Fire Ronda Rousey. Oh, good Lord. Triple H is one of the reasons why she even in WWE. She, he, he's not firing Ronda Rousey. This is kind of ridiculous. It ain't going to do nothing but fuel a promo on Friday where she's going to come out with low energy, talking like, you know, somebody's drunk friend at a wedding. And it's just going to be real bad. It's going to be a really shitty promo. You know, that's the worst thing about this Ronda Rousey thing is we can't capitalize on this because she ain't got the mic skills to capitalize off this shit. Um, somebody said, we will never get the Alicia Fox shut up, shut Ronda Rousey up and put her in her place. Put her, H-A, put her in her place. Jesus. Um, <laughs> they, now they're posting fake uh, Sasha Banks tweets about firing Ronda Rousey. This is this is not real. <laughs> this is not real. Um, I noticed that firing Ronda Rousey was trending today. It seems like a good time to post this. And I guess it's uh, some YouTuber. If Ronda Rousey isn't going to try, then she needs to leave WWE. It's as simple as that. What do you mean she is she not going to try? I think she is trying. You know, the, the issue is she's inexperienced. Her mic skills have deteriorated quite a bit. I don't think she's comfortable cutting promos. So, <clears throat> and her, but the, the weird thing about the promos is sometimes she's actually not bad. Other times she's one of the worst promos in the business. I don't know how we find that happy medium where she can at least be shit, but not be awful. Um, but, but I don't know, man. This is kind of confusing to me. Um, but Fire Ronda Rousey is uh, is still rolling. I don't think Ronda Rousey doesn't care about it or she wouldn't be in it. I think it's a lack of an improvement because she knows she's safe with her spot because of her UFC achievements, which is why she's in this spot in WWE in the first place. I think that's a good assumption. It's a good assumption that she says, hey, you know, and plus... I think the company wanted her to come back more than she wanted to come back. And so she's kind of like, if I'm coming back, I'm just going to do my own thing. And, you know, I don't want any pressure on me. And Vince was just kind of like, yeah, sure, whatever. Who cares? Who gives a fuck, really? Like, most people half ass it around there anyway. And we just, we pretend that they don't. But so many of them are half assing it. They come in, they bullshit. And um, it is what it is. You know, a lot of your favorite wrestlers have been phoning it in for a while. Um, uh, a continuance of this statement says, since there's no way in hell Ronda Rousey without the UFC accolade recognition that she's had would have ever been in position to be a main event women's champion. Shayna Baszler had MMA background, but never achieved the same height as Ronda Rousey. 
And Shayna Baszler is a better wrestler than Ronda Rousey, and yet she has never been the women's world champion, and Vince McMahon pushed her as a joke mid-carder. Ronda Rousey would be in the same position as Shayna Baszler if she didn't have the UFC accolades. Um, I get that point. I like that point. Because it says a lot about Shayna Baszler not having a personality and just kind of being MMA fighter girl. You know, um, at least Shayna Baszler has a lot more respect for pro wrestling, you know, because she worked with, um, fuck, the blood, the blood sport guy. Uh, it, his name would come to me eventually, but, uh, they work together, they train together and stuff like that. And he does pro wrestling. So she has a little bit more respect for pro wrestling than, um, and a little bit more experience too than Rhonda does. Um, the difference is, I think, is that both of them really struggle when it comes to creating a character. And athletes are just, they just have that problem. Ronda Rousey has that Bill Goldberg issue where the, they're so proud of their athletics that the character part can't get in there because they have an ego about the, about the athletics. You know, like Ronda Rousey was such a wild success athletically. You know, she won like a gold medal in judo or something like that and was a UFC champion. You know, it's like telling the high school quarterback he has to humble himself and play a different role. He's like, fuck you. I, you know, I know what I'm doing. You know, um, <laughs> it's like Uncle Rico or Al Bundy or something like that. Like, you can't get over that those days aren't there anymore. You know, and it takes for it takes forever. Like, it took for Goldberg to get into his 50s before he finally decided, you know, hey, you know, I'm not Go Bill Goldberg from the Atlanta Falcons anymore. You know, it took him a while to get out of that mindset. And it's going to probably take Ronda Rousey, you know, who knows how much longer she's going to have to do this before it clicks. And it may be till she retires from pro wrestling and decides she doesn't want to do this anymore that it actually starts to work out. And she decides, you know, hey, maybe I should have loosened up, you know, accepted a little bit more, not had such a huge ego. You know, it's going to take some time. You know, wrestling fans hating her, though, is mostly because the girls hate her. Uh, or they, their favorite female wrestler hates Ronda Rousey. Somebody says, Ronda has stopped caring ever since Survivor Series 2018 when she got booed out of the building after her match with Charlotte. Look at her interviews. She clearly hates the WWE fans. If she hates us, that, then just fucking leave already. Fuck that bitch. Somebody says, uh, she sounds like a heel to me. But yeah, and they turned her heel right after that, though. <laughs> they did. You know, they turned her heel right after that. Um, I think that she is been subject to a lot of criticism. Again, just talking about this, when people have these big egos, they don't take criticism well and they, they struggle, you know, with that sort of stuff. And she's more susceptible to it now than she was in UFC because, you know, she spent so much time in camp and uh, she was so busy doing a bunch of other stuff like movies and TV shows and a bunch of shit like that. She didn't have time to really get grilled like she does now. And I think that uh, wrestling fans are a little bit more psychotic than MMA fans. But then again, who knows? Uh, here's another one that says, I can't be the only one who's sick of marks every single day saying, bring back Sasha Banks. Don't you think if she wanted to come back, she would? You look at this hashtag, Fire Ronda Rousey, and you see all the idiots with Sasha picks. God, get over it. She don't care about you. And you know what? I think that's a pretty good point, too. You know, she's going to do what she wants. And if you're... This goes back to my other video about, you know, placating people with huge egos. Um, Sasha Banks is being one of those people. You know, again, and even her fans seem to just recognize that the reason why Sasha Banks is not there is because she doesn't want to be. Because she doesn't want to work with Ronda Rousey. You know, which seems to me to be pretty ludicrous. You know, um, somebody comes to the division to better the division and you're like, uh, you know, you want to get into a, I don't know how else to put it, a dick measuring contest with this chick. And the only way for you to compete is to be known outside of wrestling, you know, which is Ronda Rousey is known outside of wrestling. So it makes sense that, you know, Sasha Banks wants to now push herself to be known more outside of wrestling, which is smart. If you don't want to put yourself in this position, you want to be a bigger star, then 
Absolutely. Um, <laughs> focus on becoming a bigger star outside of wrestling. Here's another one. Ronda sucks, and she cannot wrestle like the other women in WWE. Hell, James Ellsworth can wrestle better than her. Oh, boy. Oh, goodness gracious. Uh, And this is the quote from Sasha Banks. This is from the Stone Cold Podcast. You can bring in Ronda Rousey, but you should be paying me to to, to be doing what she's doing. I, You have the talent here. I put in the work. Okay. Uh, I recognize that. I remember that. I remember when she went crazy. Um, Ronda has go away heat. She is a dangerous wrestler. She dislikes wrestling. She's a champion. It's a big problem. Every woman on SmackDown suffers from her presence. They're suffering from her presence. Ooh. Oh, oh, Jesus. <laughs> I think Rhonda loved the business from a fan's perspective, but didn't really like it that much when she got in it. <laughs> you know, when when she became the the focal point in the spotlight, you know, I don't think she became <laughs> she became, maintained her fandom. Um, it's uh, it's really wild that you know we have to do this, but who knows. Oh, here's an interesting one. I have no idea why Fire Ronda Rousey is trending, but I do find it hilarious that Ronda has never been claimed by Black Twitter, despite her great gramps. Maybe for good reason. Uh, oh, apparently she has this uh, <laughs> Black great grandfather or whatever. Um, I'm looking at a picture. Of, somebody actually found a picture of this guy, and I see the resemblance. I do see that he might have been biracial too, though. He might have been biracial too. Um, somebody says, I don't know, man. I've been on the hate Ronda Rousey wagon since she was an undefeated, quote unquote, in UFC. I'm an MMA nerd. So when Holly Holm kicked the fool out of her head and took her belt and undefeated streak, I was pretty ding dang happy. <laughs> ding dang happy. You were happy as hell at that point, brother. You was happy to the motherfucker. Uh, <laughs> you happy to the motherfucker damn brother um that's literally literally weird uh fire around the rousey has been trending all day and this is right after the match with shotzi two days ago i do a bit feel bad for shotzi because i think she did a great job at survivor series ronda at the other hand seems like she isn't trying if she doesn't want to be here then leave crazy what great match has shotzi had Waiting. What was... What great match does Shotzi have? What was Shotzi's last really good match? You've probably never seen it. So I'm sitting here, like, really questioning myself, like, am I the dumbass here? Like, am I the... the am I partially retarded? You know, like, why is it that these people are just so in the hate bag for Ronda? And they're like, oh... Pfft. Shotzi, she's she's very good. I'm just kind of like, well, I like Shotzi. I think she has a marketable look, marketable, you know, charisma, persona. She's not a great promo, and her matches are full of botches. This ain't the first time Shotzi's been put in this position, and she didn't look very good. Wasn't it like an Elimination Chamber match or something that she was in earlier this year or something like that? Or Money in the Bank, it was. And she really shit the bed all over that, too. People forgot about that already. She quit Twitter because people were attacking her about how bad she was at Money in the Bank. And here she's bad again. But this time we're going to blame it all on Rhonda because, you know, got to blame Rhonda. It's, it's weird, man. It's very, very weird. Here's another one. The only thing that needs to be fired is, is Rhonda's eyes for having to endure those hideous makeup. Oh, yes. That, that brings me to another point. Uh... <laughs> I don't know who it was, but some guy wrote an article about Ronda Rousey's face makeup, her eye makeup or whatever. Um, I think people are overthinking that thing. She's wearing a lot of that crap to try to add color to her character. That's that's really all it is. <laughs> you know, uh, it's it's not it's not. Don't overthink it. You know, don't overthink it. Uh, so after my deep one minute analysis, I found that fire Ronda Rousey is trending because a People are posting pictures of female wrestlers they like better than her, and B, 
people keep posting that fire Ronda Rousey is trending. <laughs> yeah, that's that's like 90% of it is. My Liv Morgan fans, my Sasha Banks fans, my Becky Lynch fans is like way in the back. You know, they got Becky Lynch back, so they kind of cool. But uh, Liv Morgan lost her spot. Yeah, they're pretty mad. Sasha's not even on TV. Yeah, they, they their feathers is ruffled. All right, let's see how much longer we can do this because um, people are getting pretty mad. Here is another one. Fire Ronda Rousey is trending because WWE fans hate her as much as MMA fans did. Jesus Christ. That is, it's not a lie. That's it's not a lie. <laughs> uh, here's one. I don't see any issue with us tweeting fire Ronda Rousey. One, she clearly doesn't care for the business. Two, is only there for a paycheck. Three, it's not like she'll be out of a job. If she's as big of a star as WWE still think, seems to think she is, she'll be fine. I don't think that third point is relevant. I think you should fire people for not being good at their job. And I don't think she's good at promo. I, but she was a great uh, celebrity. Um, you know, much like Logan Paul. I think if Logan Paul had to work every Monday, he would change his style. And he probably wouldn't be as good. Same thing could be said for like Pat McAfee. So maybe, you know, you could say it's similar for Ronda Rousey. Maybe that's the thing. Maybe she's overexposed. Even though she was gone for a long time. I think she was gone through the entire uh, Thunderdome era. Um, maybe it's, it's just an issue that she's overexposed. I don't remember anybody saying that Ronda Rousey sucked during her first run. I think mostly people didn't like her babyface persona and thought she would work better as a heel. Then she did turn heel and people seemed to be okay with that. And uh, she was gone by WrestleMania, even though people were not happy with that match, the triple threat match. But that was mostly the fault of the, whoever made it a triple threat match because you had no business making it a triple threat match in the first place. But most of the complaints I heard about Ronda's first run was that she wasn't really a convincing baby face. She was a natural heel. And now she is a heel and she's playing into being a heel and people now hate her for being a heel. It's crazy. It's real crazy. Uh, somebody says, why in the hell is Fire Ronda Rousey trending? I keep seeing idiots post it, but they never say why. Is it just another woke pile-on? Wokists don't even watch WWE. <laughs> uh, hmm. It's a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Somebody says, it's because she is not as a, she's not good as a WWE performer. She was great as an MMA fighter, but she does not have the microphone skills it takes to work an audience. She doesn't have the skills to carry a match. She is bringing down the women's division. Uh, that's why they're saying it. She's bringing down the women's division. Jesus Christ. She's bringing them down? I mean, look at the talent that's on SmackDown. She's bringing them down? She's bringing them down. Wow. I mean, what would what would Zia Lee be doing if, Sh if Ronda Rousey wasn't there? For Christ's sake, Liv Morgan could grow her wings and fly. All of a sudden, she would become a better athlete. If Ronda Rousey wasn't there, you know what? Shayna Baszler will all of a sudden have, grow a personality if Ronda Rousey wasn't there. You know, it's 90% of the problem with the women's division of SmackDown is the booking. You book people like garbage. They tend to just go with it. You know, like it's, it's unfortunate, but they do. Um, I don't know what else to tell people, man. You can't blame Ronda for the whole division not being good. You know, it. It's just not much you can say about that. Somebody says, you really ask why this is trending? And then they got bullet points. It says, tearing down the SmackDown women's division. Since her return, she did nothing but botching everywhere. Worst promo talker. Many women's mo moments were trashed by her laziness and bad performance like Liv and Shotzi. Well, Liv did her, Liv did her part, you know, because Liv is, you know, again, not athletic. Have you ever seen Liv try to do a Tope Suicida? It looked like he was throwing an infant into a bathtub. It just, her body, it was like she was doggy paddling in the midair. I'm sorry, it's just, no. Uh, <laughs> uh, somebody called her Rhonda Flopsy. Oh boy. These people are crazy, man. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, some people are still mad that she won the Royal Rumble too. I forgot about that. That, see, that just goes to show, you know, a lot has happened this year. 
that I completely forgot that she returned just this year. And she hasn't been very good. Uh, <laughs> Fire Ronda Rousey is trending. After Saturday, can you really blame the IWC? <laughs> it's a cesspool as it is. But this is absolutely warranted. The woman is a worthless entity merely taking up roster space. Get the title on Baszler and send her to, on her way ASAP. End of conversation. All right. So explain to me what Rhonda is lacking that Shayna actually has. That's what I want to know. Somebody do that for me. I don't know. Um, this is this is very weird. I don't get it. Here's an interesting one. This is the most pathetic trend I've ever seen. If you champion this, I don't want to know you. You can dislike Ronda all you want, but to get fire Ronda Rousey trending shows how small and insecure y'all are. She's done nothing deserving of being fired. Well, I'm sitting around here saying to myself, look, if we can fire people for sucking, there should be a lot of people fired. Ronda should be on the list for sure. But there should be a lot of people getting fired. If, they, if we're just going to fire people because they suck, well, <laughs> Rhonda could be at the top of the list. She could be at the bottom of the list, but there's a list. And there's a lot of y'all favorites who are on your profile that, especially Dakota Kai, who I'll also put on that list. I will fire 10 Dakota Kais before I fired one Ronda Rousey. I would, I would fire Dakota Kai, say, uh, you know what, catch her in the parking lot. Look, I changed my mind. Let her back in. She signed a new contract. I'll fire her again. Dakota Kai sucks. She literally brings nothing. She doesn't even bring the cachet of being a former UFC fighter or something like that. She's like a Twitch thot or something. I don't know, man. I don't get it. I don't understand that. Um, let's move on. Remember how upset Ronda genuinely got because the crowd didn't cheer for her anymore during her last run, which was a much higher quality? Can't wait to see her optimistic response to her dog shit run with the fire around the Rousey trending. Oh, man. People are very, very much just hating Ronda Rousey. They're comfortable in their hatred. That's the, that's the crazy part. It real comfortable. Um, somebody says, let's go. We did it. Fire around the Rousey is trending. Let's keep it that way. And Triple H might see it. He's going to see it. Maybe some, some intern, some knucklehead who gets him coffee. And his heart pills is going to say, you know what, boss? I see uh, Fire Ryan and Rousey is trending on Twitter. He's going to be like, oh, let me see that. Let me see what's going on here. Yeah. How much money did Ronda Rousey make this year? Man, you ain't firing Ronda Rousey. It's not going to happen. <laughs> okay, here's, here, oh boy. Fire Ronda Rousey is trending and no one is saying the reason why she should be fired is because she's a transphobe and a Sandy Hook denier. Y'all need to get your priorities straight. Uh, this seems like David Mixon's band. Oh, no, it's an LGBT uh, thing. It's some company. Here's the thing about her being a transphobe. Uh, Ronda Rousey dealt in real sports where there are the outcomes were real and injuries were real. And her saying that she would never fight a man in a dress, pure common sense. Um, and to be quite honest, not wrong. Not wrong. I mean, here's, here's, the, here's the crazy thing. You always hear about these people wanting the guy in a dress to fight other women. You almost never hear them say they should fight men. You know, like, like why is that? Why is it when, you know, and this was during that Fallon Fox situation where Ronda Rousey was spoke up about, you know, I would never do it. And a lot of people also feel the same way. Some people are just kind of, you know, natural competitive nature. Okay. But the concussions is real. The, the loose teeth and the, you know, the swollen eyes, all that stuff is real. Why would they put themselves through that? I'm sorry, but MMA fighting is legit. And that's the only time she's ever I, that I can think of that she's ever spoken on transgenderism is if she when she was asked if she'd ever fight somebody like Fallon Fox. And she said, absolutely not. You know, Fallon Fox is male. And that was years ago when you could say something like that. It ruffles some feathers, but it didn't it didn't mean your career is over. Now, this kind of thing may get her, you know, people with pitchforks outside of her house. And you can see that they still haven't forgotten that she said it. 
But she wasn't wrong then. She's not wrong now because biology doesn't change that way. You can't just take a magic pill and all of a sudden you're just you're, you're just like all the other girls. It's just dumb. Get the fuck out of here with that. Um, so let's move on. Here's an interesting one. <laughs> interesting and hilarious. I guess. Fire Ronda Rousey is trending. A female putting their career and dreams in Rousey's hands has to be stressful. Her wrestling skills are sloppy and dangerous. She didn't dream of being in the WWE. She fled to it out of desperation for money. Love versus paycheck. Look, I am I'm one of those people that love and work ethic are two things that people really, really overrate. You know, just because you work really hard at something doesn't mean that you're any good at it. Just because you love something so much doesn't mean that you're any good at it. Sorry. Some people are better at things than other people. You know, um, Rhonda is not the best pro wrestler. I, you know, never hear me say that. At least not right now. She, I don't know how old she is, but she has the potential. and She's got at least a good maybe six or seven more years. Who knows? Maybe she'll get into a John Cena run where near the end of her career, she, it'll click and she'll finally start having really good matches. Who knows? But ultimately, um, the idea that just because you love it, you should get the opportunity is kind of ridiculous. It's, it's ridiculous. I, I, I reject your deposit. I set that one on fire. Get out of here. Uh, I, I love when wrestling Twitter starts hashtags like fire Ronda Rousey thinking that anything will actually come of it. Listen, I'm not her biggest fan myself, but sheesh. Y'all that desperate, huh? Like, yeah, they're super desperate. They're super lost out here. They lost out here in these in these streets. It's, it's ridiculous. Uh, somebody says, scrolling through Fire Ronda Rousey since it's trending and the only defense, quote unquote, of her I can find is that people dismissing WWE as a whole as being so choreographed is like dancing. My siblings in Christ, imagine if a professional dancer was this bad and still on TV every week. Well, that's a good point. I think in an uh, area where, you know, you were legitimately bad at something, unless they kept you around for diversity reasons, you would probably get fired. You know, I think we should fire bad pro wrestlers all the time. I sit here. That's that's a good 20 percent of what I do is I sit back and I watch a match promo and I just say to myself, hmm, let's talk about the quality of this thing. Quality rarely dips to the point where I'm just kind of like, fuck it. We need to get rid of this guy. You know, typically I get that angry when it comes to like AEW and somebody is like so bad. They just start going, where's my stars? Where's my stars? I'm just kind of like, yo, you might need to find that nearest exit before, you know, we start ripping up contracts. You know, when you, when you, when you are so bad, you're kicking the turnbuckle like, you don't know me. You don't. No, me. And I'm just kind of like, oh boy, why do we even hire you? If you're wearing a black jacket on NXT and you got a face like a 52 year old chain smoker, man, I'm really considering what the hell you doing here. And then I see you go run around the ring you're pretty smooth. I see that. But Jesus Christ, you look like you from Middletown, Ohio or something like that. And you, you work in the steel mines or some shit. You know, what are we keeping you around here for? Um, that kind of shit, you know, it's kind of stuff that I think about around here. You know, I don't just, you know, my, my, my head doesn't just decorate my neck. So here's another one. Uh, well, fire around the Rousey is trending. So I'll point out that she one is a proud transphobe an anti-vaxxer, a Sandy hook denier, and maybe a Holocaust denier. That's all that matters. But she also quote has bad matches and undermines her opponents doesn't sell tickets, and looks bored. She's a, a Sandy Hook denier. I, I, will, I don't know anything about that. Um, being an anti-vaxxer, I mean, who cares? I can't believe people are still on some... As people... I'm not going to go into the whole vaccine stuff, but come on, man. It's, we're two years out of, out of that shit. Come on, get the fuck out of here with this. Um, people are just being weird. All right, a little bit longer. It says... The fact that this is trending is funny, but seriously, Ronda Rousey has been the worst thing on every show she's been on since returning. I don't know about that. She's usually been on the bad side of the show. I'm not going to say that that's not true. But the worst? I don't know, man. She's been on the show with Maximum Male Models. 
You know, <laughs> they've been on the show at the same time before. She's been on the show with some really shitty stuff. She's been on the same show with Damage Control. You know, I, I don't know, man. Um, here's another one. Fire Ronda Rousey is trending, but when the company releases roster members, it's always about how they're a massive company and shouldn't be making roster cuts. Wrestling fans, man. I get it. Uh, I get it. It's a little bit different, though, because they don't want her to get randomly cut. They want her to get fired. Fired. All right. So, <clears throat> that was fun. I learned nothing, except that wrestling fans are incredibly vindictive and slightly psychotic, which I already knew that. Um, still don't know why people... <laughs> I know why people hate Ronda Rousey. I said it before, people hate Ronda Rousey because she's a winner. And she is a winner who talks too much. And they like to see those kind of people brought low. So they love to see that, you know, Ronda is knocked out by Holly Holm and she's not very good at something. They revel in that <clears throat> because it reminds them of what they're not very good at. So, <laughs> but uh, it is what it is. Like, I'm not the biggest fan of Ronda, but I can tell when a lot of people are just kind of jealous of Ronda. And a lot of people are jealous of Ronda, you know, um, and she, she hasn't been the best person. And she talks too much, and she's been a little egotistical. But to fire her because she didn't have a good match with Shotzi, it's like I, I'm legit sit here and I'm just being fair. I, if you were to ask me who was my favorite between the two, the answer is Shotzi. But Shotzi has not had a good match with anybody. Like <laughs> I can't think of anybody Shotzi has had a good match with. So I can't just be like, oh well, it's Ronda Rousey's fault, you know. No, it's it's both of them, you know. Maybe Ronda will get in there with Becky or Charlotte or somebody like that, and she's gonna have a banger. That's what I think. Till then, uh, people are gonna be on Ronda's head. All right, like, share, subscribe. Thank you guys for your time. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out. Uh -huh.